To set up this exponential question, we need to remember what the parts of a standard exponential equation are. So we have a of t, which in this case is going to be, for a half-life function, the amount of material remaining. We have a naught, which is the initial amount of material. We use one-half to indicate that we're dealing with a half-life. And then t is our variable, typically it's the amount of time that we're waiting. And h is the half-life itself, so however long the half-life takes to occur. So in order to answer part a, to express the amount of polonium remaining as a function of time, we can say p of t equals p naught times one-half, and now our half-life is three minutes, so that's going to be raised to the t over three. And we need to remember that our t in this case has to be given to us in minutes because that's what we used for our half-life. And that would be the answer to part A. Now part B is tricky because we're not given an initial or a final amount. We're just told the time that we're going to leave the polonium out and we want to know what percent will be left. So the amount remaining after 10 minutes is going to equal the initial amount times one half raised to the 10, that's our 10 minutes, over three. Now this is going to be the same thing as the initial amount times 0 0.0992, which means compared to the original amount, there's only gonna be 9.92% remaining. And that is the answer to part B. Now for part C, we're being asked to go backward with our equation. We're given the amount that's left over and we're told we want to know how much was there originally. So we know that we left the polonium there for 20 minutes and we want to know how much we started with if we ended up with 23 grams. So our final amount, our amount remaining was 23 grams. We're trying to solve for P naught. So in this case, that will be 23 equals p naught times 1 half raised to the 20 over 3, which will give us 23 is equal to p naught times 0 0.00984. If we divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.00984, we will end up with our initial amount and the answer to part C, which is that p naught is equal to 2,337 grams. And all of that put together means we have all of our final answers.